Hey our friends, we're gonna draw one of our favorite candies. Yeah, nerds. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies, we're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some- Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start. Yes. We're drawing the little nerds character that's on the box. And I love this guy. He was really fun to draw when I was a kid. So I thought this would be a lot of fun. And we're using our markers, our Art for Kids Hub markers. And remember, if you're using markers too, you wanna use marker paper. and. This is my favorite brand, Canson. I love using this brand because it works really well and it's a pretty good price. The best part about this is it keeps your markers lasting longer. Okay, first let's start by drawing our little guy's eyeball. And we're gonna draw a circle. I'm gonna draw him kind of right in the middle of the paper about here. And I'm gonna draw it this big. So we're drawing the first eye. Then inside, let's draw the pupil. We're gonna draw it about this big. And let's color it in too. Oh, it's so much fun and pretty easy to remember the steps or memorize the steps. Okay, now we're gonna draw the nose and it's a big letter C, almost a circle that connects on itself. So we're gonna start at the bottom of the eye. We're gonna come up to about halfway on the eye. We're gonna curve around and the nose is really big. So it's okay if you feel like you're drawing it too big. We're gonna come back around and we're gonna stop right under the eye. Then we're gonna add a little cheek line. Uh, it looks almost like a U shape. And then we're gonna draw the rest of the mouth. We're gonna draw another U that's bigger and we're gonna come down like this. We're gonna come around and then connect back up to the cheek line. And I kind of drew it flat on this side too and then curved on the right side. Then we're gonna draw the tongue. We're gonna draw another curve halfway across the mouth. And then we're gonna draw another curve to draw that little dip in the tongue in the middle. Yeah, and then we can color in the top shape. Now let's start on the body. We're gonna start right here underneath the nose and we're gonna draw an S curve. So we'll curve down and then we're gonna curve out and then we'll curve back the other way. What's your favorite flavor? I like all of them, yep. but my, I think my favorite thing is the Nerd Clusters. Oh, and that has all the flavors. Yeah, it has yeah. a ton of them. <laughs> and then it also has the chewy part in the middle. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the best part. Yeah, I like those too. Now let's draw the other side of the body. We're gonna start really close to the cheek line. We're gonna come out, and then we're gonna do the same thing, kind of start to come back in. And this one doesn't come as far down because we're gonna draw the leg. Oh, we need to come up and at the other eye. That's why it's looking so weird. We're gonna draw another curve that matches this eye, but we're only drawing part of it since it's overlapping behind this eye and also the nose. And then let's draw the pupil here. We're gonna draw a little U shape or upside down U and then color it in. Now let's draw his legs. I'm gonna start over here and we'll draw the right leg first. So we're gonna draw an upside down U. This is for the knee. <laughs> and we're gonna draw a line that comes up but it's gonna turn into his toe, first toe. Almost looks like you're drawing the letter P. Then we're gonna draw another toe right behind this one. And then another one, we're gonna draw it a little bit lower. We're gonna come in a little ways, so almost to match that middle toe. And then we're gonna draw the rest of the foot coming down like this. And then the heel is right here at the bottom. And then we're gonna stop underneath this line. Yeah, that looks really cool. Next, we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna leave a little space, but we're gonna try to make this line look like it's continuing from the belly line over and connecting underneath the leg. We're trying to make this raindrop shape too. Now let's draw the left leg. We're gonna start with the knee and we're gonna draw it just a little different. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna draw this curve just a little bit smaller Then we're gonna repeat all the same steps. So this foot line right here, we're gonna draw it coming this way. We're gonna come up and curve around, almost creating a backwards P. Then we're gonna repeat the same toe lines. So one behind, and we're gonna draw the third toe. This one comes in a little further. Then we're gonna draw the heel, this line right here, we're gonna draw the heel and we're gonna connect into here. So we're gonna draw it coming down like this and now we're gonna curve and connect into the belly. And we want the feet to look the same on each side. So while you're drawing this line, you can look over and try to match. And we did it, that's it. That's how you draw the little nerds guy. And he looks awesome, except we still need to do what? 
Color them. Yeah, and we can pick our favorite color or favorite flavor. What's your favorite flavor? Watermelon. Uh, I'll do cherry. Okay. Then we'll have a good combo, green and red. Yes. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yep. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our nerds. I love how yours turned out all colored in. I like how we added a thicker line. Oh yeah, it looks really cool, that extra thick line on the outside. We also added a white highlight with our white colored pencil around to make it look more shiny. And you can pause the video right now to color your drawing. Yeah, and you could also even add more nerds. Maybe you could draw them jumping all over the place. Oh yeah. We used our Art for Kids Hub markers to color with. If you have the same set, I used 15 red. What was the green color that you used? 59. Yeah, and then we also used 89 pink for the tongue, but you could change your color to your favorite flavor, so you don't have to color it the same as us. You could use pencils or watercolor instead of markers. Yeah, you can use whatever you have at home. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Nerds Candy with us. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.